Haters, 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 haters. Hey, folks, this is Wesley, Billion Dollar Virgin here. All right, this video is titled, somebody comment this below, please, as you guys jump in here. Um, how to handle haters. Haters. How many of you got some haters right now? Okay. How many of you have haters? Haters in your life right now, okay? Let's talk about it for a second because recently, um, you know, I like to follow Cardi B. I'm very excited about her success. She she deserved it. She's doing some remarkable things. She was on um, the award too. She did a great performance and um, something happened. Someone insulted her intelligence, right? And she decided to, I guess, delete her, her Facebook, I mean, or her Instagram. And I want to talk about haters because it appears, not just Cardi B, maybe you, you don't know how to handle haters in your life, okay? And I want to talk about that because if you want any type of success, okay, any type of success, and that just may happen for you, you have to know how to handle haters. If you don't, haters will destroy you, okay? They will. You have no idea. They will destroy you. Understand this. Um, I'll tell you guys a story about me. Um, you know, when I was climbing that ladder of success, what's up, Kevin Ocean? Trying to be rich, trying to be successful. Um, I had people that were on Team West, okay? A lot of people wanted to see me win. They really did. You know, at first it was like, who is this crazy black kid wearing a 7 day fitness shirt, always slapping on his chest, screaming in the camera. Who is this guy, right? And, you know, but I kept doing it. You know, at first, you know, they were hating a little bit, but they saw I was very consistent, right? And they saw I was very passionate about what I was doing. And I was focused and I was committed. Put the word commitment, it's just powerful. And then um, they became my fan, even though I wasn't making any money, okay? I wasn't making any money at the time, but they're my fan. Oh, Wesley, man, we believe in you. One day you're going to hit it. I know you're going to hit it. I don't know when you're going to hit it, but it's going to happen for you. And uh, <clears throat> what happened What happened was this. I did. I hit it. I made the money. I bought the cars. I traveled around the world. You know, hang out with amazing people. Uh, you know, I was just living my dream. Those same people that first were my haters, then they were my congratulators, they became my haters again. Listen, the same people, it's a cycle, right? The same people first that were hating on me because they didn't like my style, right? Wesley, you don't need to scream in the camera all the time. Wesley, why are you just slapping your chest? Wesley, you're like a funny guy. You're silly. Okay. <laughs> and then I kept doing that, right? I just say, well, that's my style. That's what I'm going to do, right? Because like when I communicate, I communicate with passion, period. Okay. Because I mean what I say when I say it. So those same people start to be my congratulators. They say, hey, Wesley, we believe in you. Right? Wesley, you can do it, man. Right? Millionaires, right? And then when I made the million dollars buying the cars, they turned into my haters and they said, why are you buying all those cars, Wes? Listen to me. Now, I'm telling you this because you need to know strategically how to deal with this because it will happen. Any man or woman that does anything in his life or her life that is very significant, okay? And millions of dollars is one of those things. People are going to hate on you and hate doesn't feel good. When someone dislikes you or tell you that you can't do this, are you doing something stupid? Are you doing the wrong thing? Are you not that smart? You're not that intelligent. You don't know how it happened to you. It hurts. Okay. But you need to know how to be resilient. So when these people started to hate on me, are you listening? Are you listening? When they started to hate on me, I understood that they wasn't hating, 
they were in pain. Listen, you got to know this. Everybody that's hating on your success or hating on your potential success or hating on your dreams, it's because they're in pain. Okay? They're hurting. You may say, Wesley, I don't understand that. Let me reframe that. Anytime someone tells you that your dream is not possible, anytime someone tells you why you're still doing this, you're still not making a bunch of money, you're still jumping into these organizations, you're still buying these online products, you're still looking at that brother, that black brother that screamed, let's go, in the camera every day, and you're still not rich. Anytime someone tells you that, it's because they are feeling loss in their lives. When I use the word loss, it's because they feel some inadequacy in their life. Because maybe they wish they had dreams. See, the person that tells you to stop chasing your dreams, do something different, is because they don't have dreams. If a person tells you, stop dreaming so big, man, you know, chunk it down a bit, it's because they don't have big dreams. Make sense? So it's painful, but it's not that they don't want big dreams. They just trying to understand why do you have big dreams and they don't have big dreams because they thought their dreams were big, right? See, maybe their dream is just to buy a brand new Honda Accord. Maybe yours is to buy a Lamborghini. So since your dream is to buy a Lamborghini, not a Honda Accord, they're pissed off. Hey, man, what are you talking about? You want to make $2,000 a month. You can't get a Lamborghini, right? <laughs> the reason why they're hurting because they, they can't dream as big as you, or they didn't. This is a true story happened to me. Now, check this out. So before I made a bunch of money, uh, I went to a seminar. I will still remember this for the rest of my life. I went to a seminar in California, okay? I told a guy he was a millionaire, okay? He knew me. He knew Wesley Virgin, Seven Day Fitness, right? Everybody knows the black guy with the Seven Day Fitness shirt. Everybody, right? Uh, and when I went to that seminar, the guy, which was my friend, I said, you know what, man? I'm going to make $5,000 per day. He said, really? And I said, yeah. He said, Wesley, I understand that you're a dreamer. And that's how they talk, right? You know, people that make a lot of money, they, you know, I understand you want a lot of stuff and um, I understand that you're believing in yourself because you don't believe, you know, you need to believe in yourself for it to happen. But sometimes you got to chunk it down. You know, right now you're not even making five thousand dollars per month. So to make five thousand dollars a day, I mean, you know, I don't know if your mind can conceive that. You know, Tony Robbins says you got to chunk it down. You know, the power of chunking. And I said, I looked at him straight in the eyes, just like I'm looking at you. I said, look at me. I will earn five fucking thousand dollars a day. I'm not making any money right now. I understand that. My internet business is not working. I understand that. But I'm going to tell you to your face. I want you to hear me and see me. Look, I will make five thousand fucking dollars every Fucking day. I didn't use the word fucking, but I was very intense. <laughs> and I said it just like that. He was like, fuck. He was like, oh. He didn't say anything. We parted ways. Two years from that day, my product went number one. Uh, I was making more than $5,000 a day. I was making like $10,000 a day. Um... I still remember the text message in the call that he gave me. He said, wow, you said exactly what you said you would do. Wow. And that was it. So what I'm telling you is this. Like, do we call him a hater? He's my friend. He's a good friend now. He's not a hater. He was just a person that didn't understand my dream. 
He was a person that just didn't dream as large as I did. Okay? You have to understand something. <clears throat> you don't have haters. Stop calling them haters. They're just people that just can't dream as big as you. But they want to. So you have to understand something, young world. Listen to me here. Hit the like button if this is making perfect sense to you. It is some certain people in your life. They're not trying to be intentionally um, rude to you. They're pissed off because you're saying things and you're dreaming things that they can't conceive in their brain. Make sense? But they wish they could. They wish they can dream as big as you're dreaming because see, your dreams seem to be impossible. Like when I said I was gonna make $150,000 per month and I'm not making $5,000 per month, to most people, majority of people on the planet, even millionaires, some of them, they will think that's inconceivable. That doesn't make perfect sense. That's just, uh, I don't understand. Now, how are you going to go from here to there, right? Right? But they wish. Because he wasn't making 5000 a day at that time. So he's like, well, I don't even make 5000 a day. How are you making no money? Like, I'm making five hundred grand a year, and you're making nothing. You're telling me, and I'm already making half a million that you're going to make $5,000 a day. It wasn't because he was hating. He just couldn't understand and conceive how this young black kid that came from the ghetto, no education. How can he all of a sudden say something so broad, so big out of his mouth? And make it real. See, it's not about hating. See, that's why I wish I could talk to Cardi B. I love Cardi B because I love what she's done in the industry. She has proven that you have, if you have passion for something. Cardi B has proven if you believe in something, something amazing can happen. Some people may say Cardi B doesn't have skill. She doesn't have talent. She's not intelligent. But let me share something with you. The only thing that matters is that she's getting the result that everybody else wants. Right? So I wish I could talk to Cardi B and say, Cardi B, these are not your haters. All these people want to do two things. They either want to think like you or they want to be in your situation. Listen, they either want to think like you. They want to say things that you say. This is why I like 6 9 Like 6 9 is in jail right now. Um, I'm praying that he gets out so I can coach him. <laughs> I love 6 9 But uh, 6 9 he says that I'm the best. I'm the hottest artist. I'm the hottest artist. Other people say, oh, you're really not the hottest artist. I'm the hottest artist. Understand some young people. People, authority figures, preachers, ministers, millionaires, billionaires. Everybody is always going to have something to say about what you're trying to create for the rest of your life. It doesn't matter how much money you make. It doesn't matter how famous you become, how significant become you. Know, someone out there, outside of you, in your world, is going to comment. And it's not because they're hating on you. It's not because they want you to fail. It's because they're thinking, how can I think like that? <laughs> or how can I be like that? How can I get the stuff and the notoriety and the significance like this person? Okay? See, that's called being intelligent. Don't think that you just got haters. You understand? These, these people don't want you to lose. These people not on purpose. Oh, I want them to lose. No. They're upset. <laughs> They're upset with themselves. Anytime a person tries to pull you down, and some people, they don't do it intentionally, understand? They're not doing it on purpose. But any person that's trying to make you feel less than good about something that you're believing, that you're dreaming about, and even though 
in the current reality, it doesn't seem as if it will take place, but they're trying to make you doubt yourself. It's not a person, one, that you want a part of your wife. Two, they're not haters. They're just people who have impotent goals. They're people that just have smaller dreams than you. That's it. They're like babies. They just have small dreams, and that's okay. Some people got to have big dreams. Some people have small dreams. Certain people look at Kevin Hart. Listen, I love Kevin Hart. That's my man, my God. He's done some incredible things in the comedian industry. $100 million net worth. One of the, if not the richest comedian on the planet right now, right? A lot of people will suggest and say that he's not that funny. A lot of people will say, well, he's not that intelligent. He's not that great. He's not this. A lot of people, because I heard these people when I watched YouTube, other comedians before him that have spent 20, 30, 40 years hoping to be in the situation as Kevin Hart, but they're not there. But you got people that's trying to make him feel pain. You got people that's trying to make him not glorify or not be excited about where he is. Oh, he's not that funny. Well, he got it because he did this. He's a butt kisser, blah, 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 whatever. Understand it. These are not haters. These are people that have impotent goals, that have small dreams. And it's okay. Okay? Just because, just because they're upset at you and they talking all this mess, mess, understand to the core of them, they wish they were in your situation. Like, it's people on the internet, maybe like Cat Williams or like anybody that's talking negative about um, Kevin Hart, it's because they want to be in Kevin Hart's situation. They want to have the $100 million. Okay? That's obvious. They'll never say that. Of course not. Let me give you a great analogy on how this works because young people, you need to understand this as you're going through the journey of success because you don't need any distractions, okay? Because success, millions of dollars, uh, it's not that difficult, but it is a task. Um, you have a dog, you have a moon, okay? Dog is on the ground, but the dog is howling at the moon. Right? You ever seen that? You ever seen a dog just ho, ho, or the wolf howling at the moon? Let me ask you a question. When does the moon ever howl back? Come on now. I'm, I'm talking to you. When the dog or the wolf or the coyote is howling at the moon at night. Ho! When does the moon ever howl back? I'm asking you a question. You, big head. It doesn't. The moon never howls back. Why? Because it's the moon. It's on top. See, the moon knows something that the dog doesn't. The moon knows that he will never be on top. He'll never be the moon, ever. He can cry about it. He can complain about it. He can talk negative words to me. He can curse me out. The dog can say whatever it wants to say, but it will never, ever, until it dies, be the moon. Understand this, young people. You, you are the moon. Because that's where you want to be anyway. You want to be on top of your game, right? You want to be famous. You want to be significant. You want to make a bunch of money. You want to be able to control your world. But understand now that you're the moon. The moon doesn't take a second out of his time to communicate back to the dog who is on the ground. You shouldn't take a moment of your time, of even your, <laughs> your intellectual ability to put any, even a fraction of your focus 
on anybody that is complaining or bitching to you about anything that is not trying to serve you. They're not your haters. They're just howling. See, what they're really saying when they say, you know what, you can't do that. That'll never happen to you. What they're really saying is, I wish I was like you. I wish I could dream like you. I wish I was earning what you were earning. I wish people were nice to me like they're nice to you. I wish I can get the family or the girlfriend or the guy friend like you have. I wish I could make the money like you're making. I wish I could drive the car that you're driving. I wish I could live in the house that you're living in. That's what they really want to say. But they won't because of ego. Okay? So, I wanted to make this video because I got a DM and said, Wesley, how do I handle the haters? You don't. You don't. You don't handle the haters. The haters will handle themselves. See, understand this and I'm going to let you go. Thank you for hitting the like and share button, by the way. It's right there. Hit the like for me. Um, haters take care of themselves. Do you understand that haters are people that talk down to you? They're actually strategically on the planet to try to distract you from the thing that you want. Like, it's, think about it like this. On the football field, you have two teams. You had the Patriots and you had the Los Angeles Rams. Okay? If the Patriots were there and the Rams wasn't there, and if the guy would make a touchdown, can we really call that a touchdown? Listen, if the Patriots, the football team is here, the Los Angeles Rams, they left the field, which means there's nobody here to defend them. And the guy made a touchdown. Can we call that a touchdown? No, we can't. We can only call it a touchdown if the linebackers try to tear the head off the quarterback. Right? And it, it, the, the opposite team tried to create a barrier so the Patriots can't win the game or score the touchdown. Once he's able to go through the Rams, the Patriots, which they did, by the way, until they can go through the linebackers in the tight ends, they do not get something that's called a touchdown. You don't get the trophy until you go through the Rams, the defensive backs, the men that are trying to stop them. Listen, you're not going to reach true success, happiness, money, unless you go through these people that you call haters, challenges, problems, adversity. They're the Rams. They're trying to stop you because you can't call it success if no one's trying to prevent you from being successful. Right? You cannot. You got to go through something so the award once you get the trophy, once you get the car, once you get the jewelry, the shoes, the Chanel purses, traveling around the world, it's going to be that much exciting. You're going to be much more exciting. It's going to be worth it. You're going to tell a story, you, maybe five months from now, maybe a year from now, say, you know what? I'm glad I had those people that I used to call haters. Because those haters actually allowed me to be more resilient and stronger so I can deal with the astronomical success that I have here today. I thank God and I'm, thank, I'm so grateful that I had people that shitted on me, that told me I would never do nothing because just hearing that just fueled me. It made me stronger, not weaker. 
it made me more courageous. And it's the reason why I'm running a million dollar business right now. A year from now, you'll be thanking yourself that you had so many people that could not dream as you did. You had so many people that verbally tried to stop you, that physically tried to stop you, but yet you persevered. And now you feel even more grateful, not because you got the trophy, not because you got the money, not because you got the car and the nice shiny things. It's because you became the person who was able to persevere and penetrate those who wanted to stop you. I love you. I appreciate you. Somebody needed to hear this. If you did hit the like button right now. Somebody needed to see this. That's why I recorded this video. Your haters are not haters. Never use this word again. It's nothing but a metaphor anyway. Haters are people that are in pain. Haters are people that just don't dream big enough. When someone is trying to distract you from your goal and trying to tell you what you can't do, just say, you know what? Have you ever considered that maybe you're just not dreaming big enough? When someone tells you, hey, man, you're not going to make a million dollars. Stop doing this. Stop listening to that black brother. Stop listening to this guy. Stop listening to Ty Lopez. Stop listening to Grant Cardone. Just ask that person. Say, hey, have you ever considered that maybe you're just not dreaming big enough? Don't call them a hater. Don't spend time trying to explain why you think like you think. Ask them a question so they can think about their dream. I love you. Thank you right now for hitting the like and share button. If you got any value from this video here, everything I share is from the top of my heart. The top of my Fendi heart here. <laughs> no cap. Hey, hit the like and share button. I appreciate that. Because many people, teenagers, young people in their 20s, 30s, you need to hear this stuff. All right? All right? If you keep believing that other people are haters or stopping you, they will always stop you. They're not haters. They're strategically designed and placed there. They can't call it a game unless you have an opponent. Like I can't play my PlayStation with my son unless we have somebody that's trying to stop us from winning the game. Why? Because that makes it exciting. It does. It's, the game is not exciting if it's just me and my son on the same team and we have no adversity. We don't have the guy that's trying to shoot us, trying to kill us. It's boring, right? Haters make life interesting. Haters make your success even greater. So go ahead. Thank you for hitting the like and share button here below. Remember, I have the Wealth Visual Program that's available right now in the bio below or in my bio above or below this description. Or you can go to WesleyVirgin.com because understand this. At the end of the day, until you change your mind, you can't change your life. I know many people are going to keep preaching and say, Wesley, give me the blueprint. Give me the step one, step two, step three, so I can be successful. I'm not going to say that doesn't work, but what I know is this, that once a man or a woman changes his mind, his entire life changes. You can change your clothes. You can change where you stay. You can change your mama. You can change your daddy or significant other. But until you change your mind, nothing in your world will ever change. You will continue to perceive and look at your reality the same way that you've always seen it. I love you guys. Much love. Remember, the link is in the bio below. You don't have to click the link right now, but it's available for you so you can get the information and the prosperity to be able to change your mindset. Much love. Let's go.